It is now a crime in Idaho for doctors to perform an emergency abortion unless they can prove the mother's life is in danger, at least for now. The Supreme Court on Friday allowed that provision of Idaho's strict abortion ban to go into effect, but agreed to review a case challenging the ban, which the Biden administration argues violates federal law that allows some medical exceptions. In response to the decision, President Biden said these bans threaten women's health and forces them to travel, and it makes it harder for doctors to provide care. This should never happen in America. Well, joining me right now is Wendy Davis, former Texas state senator and senior advisor, Planned Parenthood Texas Votes. She is also an attorney and a good friend to us. Welcome back, Wendy. So this is the first time the Supreme Court has weighed in on a state's abortion ban since the overturning of Roe v. Wade. How consequential could this case be? I think it's going to be incredibly consequential, Alex, because it's going to prove once and for all whether the, and I use the term loosely, exceptions that Republicans have put in place to their outright abortion bans actually do allow doctors and hospitals to provide emergency life-saving health care to women who need it, who come into the doors of emergency rooms and hospitals in banned states and have been refused the life-saving care that they need. And we've certainly seen stories in Texas Texas and Idaho and elsewhere, where women's lives have literally been threatened, their future fertility has been threatened, and yet there are exceptions on the books that say this shouldn't be the case. And it's just really an example of the fact that when an abortion ban is put in place, exceptions really are meaningless. They are window dressing to make people feel that somehow these lawmakers are being reasonable in some way and putting these abortion bans in place with exceptions. But in reality, the exceptions really don't apply. And they're going to argue against the application of their own exceptions all the way to the Supreme Court. So, as you know, there's a similar case. It's ongoing in your state of Texas. There, a federal appeals court sided with the state blocking the Biden administration from requiring doctors to perform abortions in emergency medical situations, even if it goes against state law. Give me some of the details on what's happening in Texas. Sure. So the Biden administration issued guidance under the emergency med medical access law that says that if you receive Medicare funds as an, a hospital, then you have to provide emergency care when it's presented to you, no matter the circumstance and no matter if it would violate a state's abortion ban law. And essentially what it's allowing doctors and hospitals to be put in the position of having to refuse is the kind of care that an emergency room would typically provide, whether we're talking about a heart attack or a stroke, abortion too can be a, excuse me, pregnancy too can be a life-threatening situation where abortion care is required. And doctors and hospitals in Texas right now are terrified of providing that care. We know that there have been a number of cases, Kate Cox, of course, which got a tremendous amount of media attention, Amanda Zorowski and other plaintiffs that have filed suit against the state law in Texas who, whose own lives were put in jeopardy and who yet have not been provided the relief that they need. And this is a question that the Supreme Court is going to be answering, and it's going to be a pivotal question in terms of assuring the need needed health care that women in states like Texas and Idaho deserve. And, and again, the only option for a woman who's got complications with her pregnancy, potentially life-threatening, is someone who lives in Texas, the only option she has right now is get out of town, get out of state. Exactly right. Leave the state. Um, and unfortunately, it's not because their doctors or hospitals are actually uh, shirking their responsibilities to right. these patients. It's that they've been threatened with state laws that say you could spend the rest of your life in prison if right. you provide the life-saving care that she needs.